for thousands of years humans have had to drive to explore. And to search for something lost or undiscovered. It is in our DNA. So join us on our adventures. All right, I'm almost at this home site here, and <laughs> it's, uh, it's thick with thorns. Oh. Oh. It should be <laughs> right underneath this tree. Uh, a lot of these old home sites would plant these big pines. And, uh, some people say that they used them for to break break the wind. Um, I'm not sure about that, but um, it should be about where the home site was. Oh, definitely can't swing in here, but oh, I think I see some block down there and over there. That's a good sign. Cut stone, cut stone, goes over to there, comes across to there, comes back, and then comes back here. Very, very small. Uh, this could have been a little cabin of some kind. I did find some information about this site. He was an early settler that settled this from Eastern PA, come across uh, in the early 1800s and uh, settled this and uh, was thriving up until the, the early 1900s. So there should be some stuff in the ground here for over the last hundred or so years the aerial photo um for about a hundred years the aerial photo shows that uh it was almost inhabitable uh in the 1940s was the very first aerial photo i could find and um it was all pretty well grown up then so that would suggest to me that basically from mid 1800s early 1800s until 19 probably 30 or so 1940 uh there was some activity down here so we might get a mix of some modern stuff 1900s uh early 1900s or potentially some uh even older stuff um dates back to the when we first settled this site so pretty exciting All right, uh, first signal's right off the edge of the cellar hole here. Whatever this is, uh, maybe hopefully to a small cabin, maybe a starter cabin. Uh, starter cabins would have been a cabin they built before they built a big house. Um, that's certainly small enough to be a cabin foundation, but who knows. But I got a nice 74 repeater right here, right there. Oh, 72, 73. So let's go ahead and dig this one together. First live dig.
So that's what it was there. Doesn't have any design on it. Probably a piece of lead or something. I don't know. Melted copper, maybe. That's definitely what it was. All right, let's keep going. All right, so just feet away from that other tone I just got. I thought I heard something down there. I went after it. Digging, digging, digging. It was real shady, but then it popped out of the hole. And let me show you what it is. I'll just turn you down here. Look at that. That is an old pewter spoon. That's an old one. Uh, that might be copper. Yeah, it's going to be copper spoon. But uh, that's an old one and a big one. The uh, front part's busted off. I'll look to see if it's the rest of it's in the hole. But yeah, first nice relic. That's an early one. One thing we always look for, they all had this a similar design to this. Um, this splayed wide part right before the bowl. It seemed like a lot of them had that but that's cool. Uh, there's usually not any writing on some of this stuff, but sometimes they can be monogrammed, especially like if you get a, like a silver one, it can be monogrammed, but usually these ones aren't. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, I got a signal not too far from the spoon. This is a 7981, which is right in line with a, uh, a coin tone. It appears to be small. I don't know that's what it is, but uh, let's go ahead and dig it here and we'll see what it is. Maybe a tiny silver coin. Who knows? It's out of the hole. It is non-ferrous, but I am not going to be able to tell exactly what it is. It's a little piece of non-ferrous. I mean, I guess it would be called junk, but it was something interesting at some point in time long ago. So right at the base or almost at the base of this big pine tree, I got a signal here. Uh, it's right down here in the hole. We'll look at it together. These are pretty common at these old home sites, which can tell a story. So I dug one of these in the last video, but that is an old clock gear. This would have been like a mantle clock, maybe up above his fireplace or their fireplace. Um, and these, we find a lot of these in the ground. It would have been internal guts that uh, when the clock broke, it probably would have been pushed around and all you find is just these little pieces sometimes we find the, the frames but nothing really complete sometimes we find uh pocket watches but this is uh, a part to a big mantle clock all right got a uh, 70 in the 70s, I always pull back the leaves or the, the needles or whatever, because uh, sometimes you'll get a shotgun shell, a modern shotgun shell, um, that's laying underneath the leaves. And doing that, if you hit it after you do it, it's still there. So I know that it's not shallow. But let's go ahead and dig this real quick. There it is, whatever it is. Sure. Non-ferrous, likely copper, likely junk. Let's keep going. All right, uh, I had to run up and grab the camera, but I got a, uh, a relic in the hole down here. Sean would be jealous. A little bottle. Huh. What's the bottom say? I'd say it looks like Douglas, but I don't think it is. It says, uh, Duraglas, D-U-R-A-G-L-A-S. It has a 46 on it and it has a 30 above it. So 6, 30, 46, I'm thinking maybe the 46 is the year. Uh, that's pretty cool. i just set it down there. Let me go ahead and turn you around and show you what I got in the hole. All right, so there it is right there. You guys see it? Oh, all right, so that is it appears to be a suspender clip it's probably a, a strap off of a uh, satchel of some kind uh, with the one little the one little iron tongue there actually it's probably not even iron or it would have been gone but um yeah i'd say that's probably off some kind of a satchel maybe that would go on the saddle um i don't see any writing or anything on it 
but it's pretty neat. Sean would be jealous. He's out driving truck today. All right, I got something interesting in a hole. Not terribly old, but it might be my first one of these. Uh, coming down here. Let me uh, turn you around and show you what it is. So you can see some modern brick right in there. It's white brick. Typically the old uh, the old brick at a, these old home sites are uh, red and homemade bricks. Uh, that's definitely not homemade, but like I said, this place was gone by the like 40s, 50s. So um, I got a coin in a hole. This might be my first one. Oh, there it is right there. And it looks silver. <laughs> And it's nickel size. I'm hoping this is a war nickel. I've never found one before. Uh, I guess somebody could have dropped this here recently, a hunter or something, but uh, this has got to be a war nickel. Look at that. Uh, war nickels are, uh, have a percentage of silver, and I'm not sure what it is, but uh, they call it a war nickel because um, the uh, uh, war, World War II was going on at that time. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. All right, there it is. It is a war nickel. 1943 uh it's got a high silver content that's why they come on the ground that way awesome that's my first one and imagine that that it was found out here in this mess <laughs> yes let's go all right i got a signal over here but i also found something i didn't see on lidar which is surprising to me I mean, I could tell there was something over here, but, uh, but it did not look like a cellar hole, which it really isn't a cellar hole, but it should have showed up on LiDAR. So let me show you. All right. So I originally thought this was a foundation. Maybe it was uh, an old foundation that was covered with cement, but I don't believe so. This is definitely a solid cement foundation poured, it looks like. Uh, you can see it's full of water there. There's a trail of water coming out. So I think this is a, uh, like a spring house, but you can see right there, there's a hole that goes back into the hillside. It's probably where the water comes from. Um, but my find is right down here. That's more of a modern spring house. I mean, probably forties when they put that in last, but right there coming down below the spring house here. I would imagine the old spring house was there, but that's an older find. I mean, it could be old uh, D buckle. It sounded great. It sounded like silver in the hole, but obviously it's not. So, but yeah, hopefully we start getting some older stuff coming down through here and let's keep going. All right, I, uh, it's been a while since I dug something good. Uh, I might have lost my detector. There it is. Anyways, I dug something really personal. Um, I was getting pretty far away from the cellar hole. I was like, ah, there may not be anything over here, but got something real personal over here. So this actually may be a good spot. All right, so it's in the hole there. It's right there. I first thought it was a button, and then I started pushing through it. That there is a wedding band. Um, it's not precious, it's not gold, it's not silver. This is very common for poor people over a hundred years ago. Oftentimes they would actually have a, a copper band and then they would uh, have it dipped in gold, um, which it could have been the case with this one, but it, the gold had worn off long ago, likely. Very personal item. It gives me hope for this uh, side of the cellar hole over here. So we're gonna keep going, hopefully pull a coin or two out. If not, um, that's okay too. So why I'm at it, I wanted to show you this as well. Uh, this is a garter clip uh, that would clip on to keep her pantyhose up, her leggings, whatever you wanna call it. That's a cool relic too. All right, uh, moving out into the open here a little bit. I'm gonna probably head back into the thicket, but uh, I hit this pretty hard out here, but I got a good signal, turns out be a very cool relic unfortunately it's not whole but that is a very very small piece of a cradle bell uh, it's a number one I don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah that would have went on a, a horse and buggy it would have jingled 
to let uh, everybody know that they were coming down the road. So that's a pretty cool relic. We do find these whole, uh, but oftentimes they are in pieces. So very nice. That's actually, if that would have been whole, it would have been the smallest one I've ever found. I've never found a number one before. This is an old uh, spring house. Uh, it's not a well. It, it almost looks like it. They built it like a well, but you know what? I can't leave here without putting my metal detector in there. So let's see if there's anything in there. nothing all right everybody if you guys like this content make sure you like and subscribe we release a video every week so make sure you check out some of our other videos and we'll see you